Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your June 2021 general reading. This reading is going to cover your past, present, and future. For all Geminis out there that may be watching, and let me uh, just say happy birthday to all the Geminis out there. Happy solar return to all of you. Hope you had are having a wonderful birthday season, and uh, it's just a matter of chance that you guys went last because uh, as it turns out, uh, the way that I was pulling the signs was was it started off random, a random poll, and then I noticed that I was getting groups, clusters of uh, signs together. So I ended up just doing, uh, keeping all the elements together for this set of readings. But last but certainly not least, Gemini, let's see what's going on for you this month. We are looking at your past, present, and future. For all Gemini suns, moons, risings, Gemini's on the house cusp, those with their sun in the uh, third house, or Venus in Gemini. Let's see if we can get some focus here. Well, not really. Okay, I don't want it to be going in and out though the whole time while I'm talking. Okay, so hopefully you can settle, camera can settle down there. Any information you may need is below in the description box below this video. If you'd like to book a personal private tarot reading with me, uh, check my website or scheduling page for availability. And let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, show me Gemini's past, present, and future. All Gemini's that may be watching. Gemini suns, moons, risings. Gemini's on the house cusp. Those with their sun in the third house and Venus in Gemini. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I do upload a new reading, a new video. Give me one second. Okay, Gemini. Show me Gemini's past, present, and future. Please. Getting the number three for you, Gemini. Also, I was reading the words on my magician box here. It says, for your eyes only, the magician. Magic, mystery, deception, do not open until instructed. Could be some interesting messages there for you. You are the magician. So that's why I say, magic, mystery, deception, for your eyes only. Do not open until instructed. Uh, let's see here. I messed that up. Okay. We are putting the cards down on the table. I believe I got the number three for you. Let's see if that remains true. Yes, the first card out was the three of wands. So definitely was picking up the number three. All right. I'm picking up an earth sign. In your reading, could be a Virgo, Leo Cusper, Capricorn Rising, possibly. Definitely picking up a Capricorn, uh, possibly also a Virgo, Leo Cusper. Let's keep going. So far, just mundane energies here. You are coming up, though. Uh, I don't see, there's no major arcana so far, so I don't feel like okay there you are okay definitely seeing a Virgo in your reading oh there's a water sign too possibly someone with many faces hmm but we shall reveal all in this reading we will reveal all in this reading for your eyes only and cross watcher but this reading is for the Gemini so Bottom of the deck, we do have the Justice in Reverse. Could be dealing with a Libra. Could be dealing with some karma this month. This could also be the issues with the justice system, the court system, the court of law. I'm seeing Pandora's box has been opened. Oh no. Temperance in Reverse, Five of Swords Reverse. Resolutions and apologies are on the table. No one wants to be the first to apologize. Temperance revert, reverse, there's no consensus, justice reversed. 
This moves into a karmic, a karmic uh, debt. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is uh, there was some kind of altercation. There was some kind of something, drama, whatever. Two people lost. There were no winners at the end of the day. There's this dragged on to the point where there was still no consensus, and now it's being docked in, in a form of karma. So that means that um, it's going to be repaid. Whoever is in debt here, I'm not saying it's you. It could be a Libra. It could be a Sagittarius. It could be an Aquarius. It could be any sign. But whoever was, if you have acted morally and ethically in the, size of, in the eyes of the universe, and you have, um, you feel you have acted morally and ethically, then you will reap what you sow, and it will be fair. So, uh, but there is some kind of karma here. I'm tempted to feel like this is some kind of injustice against you that needs to be course corrected. I believe it is up to the universe though. So let's see um, how you do here. Okay. So um, in your past, we do have the three of wands, the name of wands with the two of swords, the eight of pentacles and the knight of pentacles with the six of wands. So I see a Right off the bat, I see a, a fire sign and an earth sign here. I see uh, someone who could be like an Aries. I see an Aries and a Virgo coming up in your past. Um, I see plans made. Plans were made. Long-term plans were, uh, things were set into action here. This is a very calm energy. The Three of Wands says that you manifested something for your future. You had uh, thought about this, planned it, um, and you were just simply waiting for, you know, events to occur. It looks like you manifested a fire sign here who is sitting on the fence. I want to say diligently, they are sitting on the fence. Eight of pentacles. I see collaboration here. I see a, an Aries or a fire sign working with a Virgo. This seems to be positively working out. Could be a work situation here. I'm not sure what you have to do with this. I'm also seeing travel. This feels, this could also be a situation where um, someone was doing something overseas. You made travel plans with an Aries. They weren't sure what to do, but they were willing, they are working with the Virgo. And the Virgo is, uh, feels is enjoying the attention from the Aries. Perhaps you set two people up to work with each other. It looks like it's successful. Okay. I would say um, the Aries is adventurous, but they have a hard time making decisions, whereas the Virgo isn't a very, uh, uh, doesn't like to take action or move around very much and they enjoy the attention so you it looks like you thought about this well in advance and you put these two people together it looks like like you're like putting let's let's put two heads together and see what we can create these could be your employees i don't know they're both coming up as oh, one's a knave one's a knave and one's a knight so there's an age difference so this could be a child, of course, a page of wands, but a name of wands. Plans to see a child is on the fence. The child is on the fence because they're working with a Virgo and things are going well. Maybe you are planning to visit a child here. It could be a younger fire sign or a younger, or just you're planning on visiting a younger fire sign here. Okay, moving forward. That looks to be like you had some plans made here. I'm seeing the earth sign coming up again in your current situation, this Capricorn rising or this Capricorn. Um, in your current situation, Gemini, it feels like you, you have, uh, you're feeling a little bit stuck, okay? I think if you're dealing with a Capricorn here of some kind, they're like kind of not working with you. They're resistant to working with other people. Uh, I'm not sure why. I'm not really, the cards don't really tell me why this person is. You may be better off not doing anything uh, and letting this person kind of like 
course correct on their own. I keep wanting to say course correct. That's like interesting because I don't, that's, it, while it is a phrase in my vernacular, it's come out twice already and it's not necessarily something that I go around saying. So something about course, course correcting or I don't know. <laughs> what I really wanted to say is let the Capricorn self-destruct on their own, but it looks like there's not much you can do about this Capricorn who's resistant to working with others or they themselves are having employment problems. I do see a choice here. You choose to, someone is choosing to remain out in the cold. Someone is choosing not to talk or not to bring something up or is okay with the silence or is okay with the lack. It's not much. It's not much to work with. Okay, I feel like some plans fell through here and I feel like things might not be necessarily working out great with, um, it could be a situation where like you, things don't work out in a relationship. Uh, you, you are happy to see other people working, ha happy to set other people up with each other but you yourself may be lacking when it comes to your relationships. It's like you can see where other people would get along and you help those people out because you see that they would be how they can work together. But then when it comes to your own relationships, you may feel like, oh, I, I wish I could have another version of myself to set me up with the right people. <laughs> so going into your future here, Oh, Gemini, let's see. Ten of Swords, Three of Cups, Knight of Swords reversed with the Two of Cups reversed and the Hermit reversed. Friendships seem to be going well. Something is definitely ending next week. It's like a fork and it's done. Um, you can celebrate and have fun with your friends and I feel like you feel supported in your community. I don't know what's what's being put to an end here. I think like it could just be that a situation where you were where you were stuck this week, you realize you're not getting anywhere, so you just you just end it and decide to be happy just being friends or just going out with friends. I'm kind of getting like a oh, fuck it, let's just be fr let's just have fun. Like I don't care what happens, what we are, what we're doing. Knight of Swords reversed with the Two of Cups reversed. I think someone here would like to say something or to rush back and do something. They're holding back. <clears throat> this could be you. I am getting an uh, air sign here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, I don't think that... <clears throat> could be one of the friends. This could be a third party situation, of course. You may not get along with because you have the two of cups reversed here I feel like uh well don't agree to do something if there's a group of three people and you don't like and like your ex is part of that group or there's someone there that you absolutely don't get along with I see someone ghosting a situation here <laughs> It could be the Virgo is ghosting a situation because I found out that someone else is going to be, I don't know what this is. Gemini, you have the Ten of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Knight of Swords reversed with the Two of Cups reversed, and then the Hermit reversed. So it's like, fuck it, let's, let's have fun, let's be friends, and then, oh wait, I don't get along with this person. I'm going to ghost the situation or something like that. Or someone's doing this to you. Okay. You have a King of Cups coming up in the future, a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Okay. This person really, uh, really likes you. Uh, probably loves you. Knave of Swords. That's the Page of Swords. They spy on you a lot. King of Wands reverse could be a Sagittarius. Scorpio Sag Cusper. They have really bad self-esteem, so they won't walk up to you and, and they won't ask you out or they're not going to. <laughs> they, 
They just don't have bad, they don't have good self-esteem here. Then you have the Knave of Cups reversed and the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Oh, this person is really pathetic. Oh, this person is super lame. Someone is really disappointed because a long-term relationship has ended. This water sign, they feel really, um, they feel um, exiled by you. They feel uh, probably pretty lost without you. I see you communicating with this person or there could be, they could be sending you a lot of messages. You have a lot of just, oh God. Mm. Let me summarize what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling. What I'm feeling, what I'm seeing here, Gemini, if I could summarize, is um, one, I would say if it's not exactly what you want, don't settle. Two, Stop setting people up. It's just unnecessary. And I don't know, there's like a preoccupation here with like a group dynamic where it's like, I don't know, something here is very petty. Something here is very petty. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's you though. I just see, some, I just see like, dis I see some, some disappointments here. It feels like, uh, these people are just not, they're not on your level or they're just pathetic. <laughs> uh, I'll start off by saying um, the fire sign is a no. The earth sign is a yes. The, the Virgo, Leo, Cusper, I like them. Especially if this is someone that's working with a younger person. That seems to be going well. The next thing I see here is the Capricorn rising or the Capricorn is a no. This third party situation or this friendship thing coming up in the future, there's someone in this group that you don't like. And so either you or this Virgo is ghosting this whole thing. There's a water sign coming up in your future. They don't have good self-esteem and they kind of are like whiny. And I think this person just got broken up with or something and now they're messaging you. And you're not probably that interested in this person by now. <laughs> I don't know. It's a it's it's a real crapshoot. So I could be re re reading for someone who's single, or I guess in a relationship. I don't know. Things seem to pick up though. I feel like you're going to be getting a message, or a couple messages from this water sign who's pretty cranky. <laughs> Anyway, Gemini, this is what I have for you. Hope you enjoyed your reading. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, all that information below in the description. Happy birthday, Gemini. Happy solar return. Hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy it. I will see you guys back soon. Take care.